Hello and welcome to another Sam Tutoring video. My name is Samuel and I am a private tutor based in London and I run Sam Tutoring, which is a tutoring service and education consultancy. And in this video, we're gonna be looking into the ins and outs of prep schools within the UK independent school system. So prep or preparatory schools are part of the independent school system. They are fee paying primary schools that teach children up to the age of 13. Prep schools are inspected by the Independent Schools Inspectorate and Ofsted oversees the ISI on behalf of the UK's Department of Education. The term preparatory refers to the fact that these schools prepare their students to go on to private senior and public schools. Historically, they had their origins in the 19th century, preparing boys for public schools via common entrance examinations. Within the UK, when we say public schools, these refer to a group of old established boarding secondary schools, such as Eton, Harrow and Charter House. But before we get into prep schools, let's quickly touch on the stage before prep schools. So before children go into prep schools, they will attend pre-preparatory schools. Now, pre-prep schools are private schools for children aged three or four. They prepare children to move on to prep schools. This is typically the entry point for children into education and would be akin to nursery and reception in the state school system. As mentioned before, children begin pre-prep school at the age of three and four and move on to prep school at the age of seven and eight, which is year three and four in the state school system. Many pre-prep schools will also have a connected prep school for children to progress into. The pre-prep schools will have their own admission process and entry requirements. For some ferociously competitive schools, this could include filling out an application at birth and or observing cognition and behavior during assessment days. But it's not impossible for children so young to sit some sort of examination. As with other independent schools, there are different types of prep school, such as day schools where students live with their parents or guardians and travel to school each day and then back home. Next, you can have boarding schools where students live at school for all or part of the week. Boarding schools can be further subdivided into flexi, where parents can determine how many nights a student will spend at school or at home. Now, instead of flexi, parents may choose to opt for full board, whereby students live at the school during the duration of their study. This can be especially popular for international families because it means that the parents do not have to live within the United Kingdom. However, at prep school level, full board does tend to be a bit less popular than it is at senior school level. Some prep schools do offer a combination of both day and boarding options so it's important to do your research before making a decision. Parents can also decide between single sex and co-educational schools. Some schools will only have either all boys or will be all girls whilst others will be co-educational and teach both boys and girls. Now let's discuss admission to prep school. Now to gain admission to a prep school children will normally have to sit an examination during the course of year two known as as the 7 plus or year 3 known as the 8 plus. These primarily test maths and English with an increase in number of schools now also including a reasoning paper containing verbal and non-verbal reasoning. There are some schools mostly found outside of London in the countryside that are not as selective but may use examination for organising students into teaching sets. This is when students of similar academic level are taught together. But in London especially the competition for places is very very fierce so there is a great weight placed on how a student does in the 7 plus and 8 plus examinations. Now one of the main reasons prep schools are so sought after as mentioned before is because they feed many of the most prestigious private schools in the country and prepare their students to take entrance examinations for these schools. So a student attending a top prep school will dramatically increase the chances they go on to a prestigious senior school or even a highly rated grammar school. Some preps even have an intake at 11 plus generally from local primary state schools with the view to prepare students for 13 plus examinations. Pupils who gain highly sought after 11 plus places at prestigious preps are all but guaranteed places at the connected senior schools. Next, let's discuss the curriculum at prep schools. Prep schools have freedom over what they teach and don't have to follow the national curriculum per se. This means that they can go beyond the national curriculum and include more niche subjects like Latin or Greek or have an extensive enrichment or extracurricular activities such as 
music, horseback riding, or even something like fencing. The smaller class sizes also mean students are able to get more attention and contact time with teachers. This is an especially attractive proposition for many parents, especially if the student is gifted and talented or has special educational needs. So there you have a brief overview of prep schools within the UK. Is there anything that you're wondering about prep schools that I haven't mentioned? Please let me know in the comments. You can find the companion article for this video linked in the description. If you found this video helpful, you may also find the overview I did of the UK independent school system to be useful. If you would like any more information or support with prep schools or any other aspect of the UK independent school system, do feel free to get in touch. All of the details are in the description. For more education content, please subscribe to the channel and connect with me on social media. I look forward to you joining me again in another video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.